story I have today, well, again, I like to say that I like to go by the DC. So, but the story I have today is called the Dragonfly, or how the evolution of a dragonfly. So we have this large dragonfly. Father Dragonfly comes by, swoops over the door, swoops over the lake, and he drops off the baby as he hits it on top of the lily pad. One falls to the bottom of the, bottom of the lake, and it has to swim all the way up to the top in order to become a dragonfly. So, as it becomes a tadpole, it comes up and it meets a dragon, it meets a firefly. And the firefly goes, meet me at the honeycomb, that's where everything is good, everything you have, whatever you want. So he said, yeah? So yeah, all you have to do is fly. So inside the water, the little dragonfly climbs out of the lake, runs into a beetle, and the beetle's on his back, and he's like, help, 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 roll me over. I promise I can give you, give you a reward for it. Rolls him over. Thank you very much. Takes off his shield. Hello. So the beetle looks at him and says, Hello, I gladly appreciate you for letting me, uh, rolling me over. I would have been there for days. So the dragonfly goes off, and now he has this amazing arm. He shows it off. He's strutting his stuff. He's strutting, he's strutting. And he runs into an ant. Ant looks at him and says, Where are you headed, little buggy? So he says, Well, I'm headed over to the honeycomb. My dragonfly friend, my firefly friend, told me. That, when I get there, I can have whatever I want. Yeah, where's your little firefly friend? He's sitting on a bush waiting for the light. Listen here, what you need to do, you need to go up this hill, you take a right. And always remember, with your battle armor, you need to stay frosty. So he looks at him and says, thank you, guy. And he says, what is your name, sir? Hello. Hello. And he says, hello to you, too. Well, I hope you find your way to the honeycomb. So he just starts chugging along. And the hill is so tall, so tall, and he can't make it up top of the hill. He's breaking his sweat. And Elo's, he's like, oh, I don't know if I can go any further. And down comes a beautiful butterfly with beautiful colors. And the beautiful butterfly comes over and says, where are you headed, marvelous looking being? And he says, hi, my name is Elo. She goes, Elo, I'm a butterfly. Scoops it up and says, I cannot allow you to sit here alone. I can gladly take you to the honeycomb. She scoops him up in her arms and she flies off into the tree. Up into the tree is where now the beautiful dragonfly now gains its health. And Elo's looking amazing. He's just standing in the sun and he sees the honeycomb. A bee goes by and he stops and he goes, So what are you doing here? He says, My friend told me if I could make it to the honeycomb, I could have whatever I want. And if I have whatever I want, that means I can fly and I can be a dragonfly. Well, the bee says, well, it's all busy, busy, busy here. All you need to do is realize you stop, take a deep breath. And what Elo does, he stands on the tip of the tree and he takes in a huge breath. And he breathes out. And he goes falling off of the tree and down he hits on the ground. So now it's all it's completely darkness out. And he wakes up the next day and all to see you know, the next night all to see what? The firefly, his friend. He goes, What are you doing sitting down here? We need we have places to go. He goes, Oh, hi, how are you? He's like, Where where are your wings? He's like, Oh, I don't believe I have them yet. So he stands up, looks back, and his wings are just they're just out, they're flapping, they're beautiful, as wide as a butterfly. The armor is just as shiny as a beetle, and his stature is just as tall as the ants take off in the night, the firefly leaves, and they lead off to the lake, and he says, you can have whatever you want. He meets another dragonfly. The dragonfly looks at each other, and they go, well, how are we to continue telling our story? The dragonflies say, well, we can take these eggs, and we can take them off to a different lake, and we can continue our story there. They take the, take the eggs, and they drop them off in a different lake, and what happens? One of the eggs falls to the bottom of Beautiful, bravo. Woo